Jim and Rick show sponsoring the Week in Review. And on the After the Show podcast, we have a lot of texts that didn't make the air. There's some good ones, too. A lot of great opinions. Also, inflation may be killing cable TV, but there's a new technology coming back. And is there a beer shortage? There could be. The After the Show podcast at thejimandrickshow.com. Hello, Lake Shore, and welcome to a Week in Review where we take a look at some stories you might have missed this week. Prepare yourselves, man, it's walk. The two-way street changeover is happening very, very soon. 8th and 10th streets officially become two-way roads Monday morning, but there will be crews out late Sunday evening taking down cones and making final adjustments that need to be made. Mayor Justin Nichols told us the traffic lights will remain flashing reds for a while so they can study some traffic patterns. Bricks at the corner of 8th and Washington Street is actually holding a traffic watching party at 11 o'clock Monday morning. I'll be down there asking citizens what they think of this. Two years ago, the Franciscan Sisters of Christian Charity Sponsored Ministries announced they were ceasing operations at Holy Family College, formerly known as Silver Lake College. Now, a demolition permit request has been submitted for the tearing down of that four-story building located at 2409 South Elverno Road. McMahon, Inc. out of Nina is being tasked with the job with a projected date sometime this fall. The Franciscan Center for Music Education and Performance will not be affected. The Prevent Suicide Manitowoc County Run and Walk for Hope is just over a month away, but the local organization is looking for volunteers to help with the fundraiser. This year's Run and Walk for Hope is scheduled for September 17th and will once again be held at UW-Green Bay Manitowoc Campus. If you'd like to volunteer to sign up or run or walk in those 5 or 10K events, you can visit PreventSuicideManitowoc.com and click on the Run and Walk for Hope banner. And the event organizers are getting very excited for this year's iteration of the Lakeshore Balloon Glow. The event is scheduled for this coming Friday night on the Manitowoc Riverfront. A popular part of last year's Balloon Glow was the Webfooters Water Ski Show, which will be back again this year. Proceeds from this year's Lakeshore Balloon Glow will go to support the city of Manitowoc's new downtown holiday decorations, specifically that 26-foot Christmas tree. You can always find more local news online anytime at cafernews.com. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend, and we will see you next week.